you're just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. The South Portland City Council voted six to one last night in favor of the Clear Skies Ordinance. It bans the transfer of crude oil onto ocean tankers. The Working Waterfront Coalition, which is against that ordinance, says it will consider all options for appealing the vote. 15-year-old Abigail Hernandez is back home with her family in Conway, New Hampshire this morning, but there are still plenty of questions regarding the teen's disappearance. WMTW News 8's Norm Carcos is live in our studio this morning reporting that this investigation is far from over, Norm. That's right, Megan. We're told that Abigail Hernandez was reunited with her family Sunday night after nine months missing, but investigators aren't saying much, leaving many wondering where she was and who she was with. Now, the search began October 9th when her mother reported Reported her missing. The FBI later revealed that Xenia Hernandez received a letter from her daughter back in November. Investigators are not talking about the circumstance of her disappearance. In a statement from officials, Abby's mother now says simply today, We are the happiest people on earth. We do expect to learn more in the coming days, of course. Right now, the New Hampshire Attorney General says this remains a criminal investigation. Officials also say they do not believe that she did this on her own. Live from the studio, Norm Carcos, W. WMTW News 8. Thank you, Norm. A preliminary report into last week's fatal plane, plane crash in Lymington indicates it was likely the result of engine failure. The NTSB says the plane flown by 52 year old Clark Tate of Gray appeared to stall during takeoff, crashing about 250 feet off the runway. A five year old girl who was taken to Maine Med after she was found unresponsive at the bottom of a swimming pool in Minot has died. Abigail Rodriguez had been in critical condition since Thursday. Investigators are not filing any charges right now. This incident remains under investigation. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, happening right now, a top international group meeting to decide whether further action should be taken against Russia after the Malaysian Airlines passenger plane was uh, shot down in Ukraine. Pro-Russian separatists have finally agreed to allow access to the crash site. They have turned over the black boxes and released a train carrying the passengers' bodies. But there are signs of evidence tampering. The protests, meanwhile, continue at market baskets all across New England with calls for the supermarket chain to bring back ousted CEO Arthur T. Demoulis. Shelves are pretty bare at some stores, including the one here in Biddeford, forcing shoppers to go elsewhere for their groceries. The board of directors plans to meet this Friday to discuss the next steps. And Trader Joe's is recalling peaches, nectarines, plums, and plum cots that were packaged by Waona between June 2nd and July 18th. The California based company issued the recall over possible listeria contamination. Customers are urged not to eat this produce and to throw it away or get a full refund and return it. Finally, the annual Kids Count Report is released this morning, ranking Maine 14th overall. Maine children ranked highly in the health and family categories, but their economic well-being worsened, actually ranking 29th nationally. The report found that 21% of Maine children were living in poverty. For more on this report, you can check it out yourself on our website, WMTW.com.